Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Tham, and I am working for USAID part of STEP project, and my focus um, is on behavior chain communications and also capacity building for KP Lab social enterprise and clinic um, uh, who are uh, in their journey of uh, entrepreneurship, uh, business uh, development for cell reliance uh, while providing HIV um, core uh, services such as the uh, PrEP, HIV cell testing, and others. And today, um, so I think it's not it's not the COVID slide. Can you come back? Okay, sorry. <laughs> so today, I would like to share with you about a campaign named Prep for You campaign targeting students in Vietnam for Prep HIV services and other health services. Uh, a little bit about the context and background of this uh, campaign. So you know that uh, in Vietnam, the young people are at in increased the risk of HIV transmission and also STI, such as the syphilis, uh, chlamyd uh, chlamydia, and gonorrhea. And also in the recent year, uh, about 25% uh, of new HIV infections are among young people aged from 15 to 24 years old. And uh, the young people and also young students are uh, I uh, have a limited uh, knowledge and awareness about STI and about uh, HIV, including PrEP and uh, HIV uh, cell testing. And uh, for Vietnam, uh, now Vietnam aim for the dual uh, goals. One is uh, to end by 2030 and also ensure the, um, uh, the, the universal coverage and with the aim to uh, reach uh, 75,000 uh, people using PrEP. Now Vietnam already achieved more than 60,000. So this year, by this year, they already achieved uh, this uh, number, I think so. But for official document, uh, still keep that 50, uh, 75 percent um, thousands of PrEP users in Vietnam by 2025. Uh, and uh, with that context, uh, we collaborate with uh, multi uh, sectors in Vietnam, including with health sectors, with educational sectors, and also with community organizations organizations to co-develop and co-implement co the campaign named prep for you campaign. So what prep for you stand for? You, it means university, but you, it also means you. So it's for uh, everyone. And the goal of this campaign is to promote HIV and also sexual health uh, care and practices among high-risk students and young people. And the key objective is to equip students with the core knowledge about uh, sexual and report reproductive health and also HIV services, and also support them to access to the core services. And with this uh, campaign, we implement in the three uh, urban and high incidence HIV in STI provinces, including Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, and Dong Nai. And the campaign uh, includes the online to apply uh, tailored activities, including um, the, um, the school tour that I will present more in detail later on, and also um, the creative and online activity with um, virus uh, online platform, including the Rainbow Village platform with more than 200,000 followers, and also the dedicated um, online Facebook named Be Me Be Sexy, that dedicated specifically for TG women, and also collaborate with a network of students very active as a champion for this campaign, and of course with community QL and community organization, including KP uh, Clinic and also Social Enterprise. So what are the key results of this uh, campaign? So we implement that PrEP tour in school. Um, so I briefly mentioned that, but to be able to implement the event at school, we need to remove many barriers, in including collaboration with educational sector and with health sector to be able to implement that in the school, and to be able to support the KP Lab private clinic to provide mobile health and HIV services in the school. We also need to collaborate with BAC and with also provincial DOH, uh, De Department of Health, so that uh, it is uh, allowed legally to be able to provide such a kind of mobile service at school. And then with this campaign, um, the team could uh, implement 32 uh, events and uh, reach um, uh, offline more than 8,500 uh, 8, students and successfully uh, to support more than 1,000 students to uh, receive HIV cell test kit. And among them, uh, 300 and um, among, among them here, I mean 8,500 people uh, reach. Uh, 318 uh, students uh, were successfully referred to the uh, to the PrEP program, I mean they are currently uh, the PrEP users. 
And for the online uh, campaign, as I mentioned, so we uh, support um, uh, the social enterprise to implement that in a multi um, the online platform, including the uh, uh, Facebook, as I mentioned. But one of the things that I would like to highlight here, which is different than other campaigns, is that we leverage uh, the network of student amb ambassadors who are very active on social media, and they support to amplify the correct message about uh, HIV and about PrEP and also support to uh, the high-risk student to enroll in the PrEP program. So this one is very important to success of this uh, uh, campaign targeting student. Uh, here you can see some uh, phrase of the student as a uh, prep for you ambassador, and they continue to uh, amplify the message and, um, and, and the information of this uh, campaign. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, in the title of our um, presentation is edutainment, right? So, to support this campaign, uh, to uh, to deliver the meaningful and good message, but it needs also to be very attractive and entertaining for the student. And we support the community to compose a song named Prep for You song. So, it is used by different events, and the school can kind of tailor a little bit. They can use the song as a bass music to dance for example, or so it's really uh, depending on each school to use that um, by, by, by their own way. And you can also click um, on the link here to also hear uh, the prayer for you song later on. And I hope that you can open, if not, please reach out to me for uh, more information about that. Uh, some takeaway and conclusion for the Pair for You um, campaign. So one takeaway I, I would like to share here is that to support the high-risk student and young people to access to health and HIV services. So one of the important thing is that besides implementing the demand generation campaign, uh, uh, it needs to combine with the, the service. The mobile service in Vietnam is a very important driver uh, to make the campaign successful and also convenient to the student. Uh, the uh, second point is about urgent need to scale up this uh, campaign for other settings. So we take the lesson learned and the success of this uh, campaign to also design another campaign targeting young workers at factories and the campaign named Prep for You, uh, Prep Bus campaign. It's also a combination of um, uh, information provision and also uh, mobile service provision. And the third, third one is very important is that we continue to support um, our partner to also implement that campaign to support um, Vietnam to achieve uh, the goal of ending it by 2030. And with this uh, campaign implementation, we already successful to work with VAC and MOH to, de to develop a guideline uh, online to offline a campaign targeting young, uh, young and high-risk students. So uh, it is in, Vietnamese, uh, in Vietnamese now. Uh, however, we hope we can make that available in English and share more largely uh, beyond Vietnam. Thank you.